We're back on Instant Replay Live. This is Shadow of Mordor. Oh, you didn't want to make up some ridiculous name again and, and try to confuse everyone? Um, I do. do you, okay, do please do. Yeah, please do. Um, this is Pristine Lumps. Hey, Pristine? That's really bad. <laughs> that's not um, even close. Anyways, what I wanted to say, we were talking about EA for a brief second there in the last episode. Um, I actually went to a panel um, at a deep game design panel where the like lead sound engineer of EA or he, he, he used to be an engineer sound engineer and then he's like the now he's like the oversight of all sound engineering uh, for EA hmm. he was talking and man it was so weird because by that point I had this idea in my mind that EA was an evil corporation but this dude was just a total normal person hmm. and I was like no stop giving a face to your goddamn corporation uh, it was such a struggle for me to like um, because I, 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 I yeah. never in my life do I actually go and meet anybody from corporations, but you have to admit at some point that they are made up of people, and even the people at the top are not all going to be. Um, and it's not like this guy's making business decisions or anything, but he is a dude that has that has a lot of importance in the in the uh, industry. Wait, can I? Oh. Um, but yeah. Did I raise an alarm? No. Nice. Stealth branding. Oh, this yeah. this is the best way to brand, because you get to uh, yeah, it's just so fast, and yeah. you can just go through a whole dark town. This is my favorite way to actually fight war chiefs, because you can get their whole entire city together, and then like the war chief will actually probably kill them all, but it's so much fun to just watch the whole dark fight happen. Why are they pointing red? Do they know I'm here? No. Well, yeah, yeah. actually they do. Because I wanted to stealth brand them. You can shadow kill, strike them, and then stealth brand them. It's gonna kill them. No, you don't do stealth kill. You gotta do shadow kill, stri shadow, shadow, something strike. Yeah, probably not the word kill. in, yeah. in there being operative. Thanks, Joe. There's there's two different options. Yeah, one is not kill. <laughs> it's strike at the end. Yeah, that was uh, the issue. All right. I didn't tell you That's to okay. Do it. Well, yes, you kind of did. You said kill. I didn't mean to. Yeah. There you go. I will buy that. Oh, I've already branded that guy. Damn it. All right. Um, let's, let's bees some people. Bees. <laughs> Getting more jokes from outside. That's, yeah. That's a, that is a struggle though. Like we, trying to create an original comedy list. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, yeah, I need to stop. I need to stop watching the internet. That's true. I might actually. I could probably do that. Where? Um, I, I mean, not like my TV shows or whatever, but yeah, I could feel back on the internet. If that's what's needed. To um, form an original personality. It might be. Like, I worry about that. <laughs> um, like, there are people... Alright, how can I... What's... Oh, wait, that's not it. Alright, it is. I will say... Shadow strike. Boom. And so he's not dead. He's on the floor dazed. You can grab him and you can, you can train him. Oh, you him. okay. Whoops. Oh, or you can kill him. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Um, I, the few times where I've taken off Facebook for like a couple weeks were so refreshing. I can't now because I need it for some things. And the reason I came back was yeah. because I was like, I need to talk to people that I, that I only communicate with through Facebook. Yep. Um, but man, I wish I could be rid of Facebook and I feel like I can't. Um, yeah, I get that. It's And the thing is, because I'm not, because I have it, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be active and I'm going to talk to people on it. Yeah. Um, it's my chat room of choice because everybody's on it. Um, I can... I can be you know locally famous with my friends when I make a status and it gets a few likes and I'm like ha people like me um, but it's like I don't know it's I, I like being separate from some of the things that have become so systematically necessita necessitated like in the way we live today hmm. I guess we talked about it a little bit before I'd like to be a hermit in the woods yeah we have right you but, don't want to have any connection to technology, which is But I love practical. it all, right? It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's, it is paradoxical. Yeah. Um, Plus, we, I mean, we do, you know, we're trying to make our thing on the internet here, right? Like, <laughs> we're trying right. to make our mark. We, all these all these motherboards and internets and everything allowing me to... Uh, share a message to... Yeah. And, and I'll throw yeah. it all away. All of these people who were strangers and have become our friends, yeah. It's weird, weird stuff. Can I stealth brand that dude? I don't think so. Why not? It looks like you can. If he's, as long as you don't mean stealth. Why did it pick some random dude I wasn't targeting? Random dude. Well, at least it was the right. Alright, I really wanted him. What a great name. Luga Maneater? 
I endure. All right, I gotta kill these without anyone setting off an alarm. So, uh, do you? Oh yeah. Let's get the guys who might run to alarms. At least you get some orcs branded around you, so that really reduces the chance of actually getting um alarm sounded. Nice. All right, now I just gotta kill big old Beluga. Beluga man eater. Gosh, I want I want the oh, job. Can, I should orcs. grab him and, and brand him. That would be the better. So our, one of our one of our internet friends made a um uh, a JRPG or a, a game on RPG Maker. And we were trying to play it today, oh, but we I had some killed issues. Him. Whoops. Oh, oh, he's, he's gone. <laughs> yes. Um, hopefully we'll be able to sort that out, but... Oh, man, I, I really oh, sorry, want buddy. to go and play with it some more. I've got... I've, I've done a bunch of stuff. Yeah? Uh, just, like, no, nothing that actually adds up to a game, but, like, so much work to, like, playing with sprite editors and, mm -hmm. and putting... There's so much source code out there to, like, do some really neat stuff. You know, you can do so much with the battle engine. Yeah. Um... Or with that, not with their battle engine, but with the battle engines that all compile together, because um, there's a huge community that has like you know the few like core lists, yeah. and then people have added to that. And you know, I still want to play always sometimes monsters on the show. Oh yeah, yeah, because that uh, it was so long though. That would be the only mm -hmm. problem, and you have to like read everything like you know. Yeah, all the yeah, it's, it's a tricky one for. Yeah, I, I assume there's no voice acting in it. No, no. Um, yeah, that would be the cool thing. It's like. There's, there, there's just some of the, the the best games on Steam that are from JRPG Maker are not JRPGs. Hmm. They're like, uh, actually, I, I'd almost go say all the ones that are that are really great, like um, To the Moon, um, and Always Sometimes Monsters. Yeah. Um, because it's, it's a great engine just for like having something where you can you have a basic physics set and you can set up some characters um, and you don't have to use the battle system at all to make an interesting game. Yeah. That's a great dive. I um I'm a big fan of what you can do that isn't just the like most generic baseline RPG stuff. Like that's that's really neat that people can take a tool. <laughs> Is that guy branded or no? Uh-uh. But he's about to be. How did he not see you just now? <laughs> I mean, pop it up and down. How did he not hear? Yeah, all of that. <laughs> Everyone's Hoot. dead. I guess they just got tired of living. <laughs> yeah, they, they decided to, to to grow tumors the shapes of arrows in their heads. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, NPC logic in that way is always distressing, unfortunately. Skyrim being one of the worst offenders of just like, huh, I have an arrow in my face. Must be the wind. <laughs> you know, like, the wind must have blown this arrow directly into my eyeball. No problem. Or, I mean, the classic JRPG logic of, uh, oh, you've come into my house? Please, look around. Like, yeah. I don't know you. Open my drawers. <laughs> you've got a lot of weapons. I guess yeah. I mean, that, that's probably the best reason for them to be like, yeah, oh, look yeah. around. It's cool. Are JRPG <laughs> characters just, like, sociopaths that everyone's afraid of? Well, any RPG, really. A like, it doesn't. it's not limited to JRPG for that. Skyrim sure, is another right, example. Right. And, you know, yeah, that's I, pretty typical. Oh, well, don't, doesn't, in, in Elder Scrolls, do they not have some that are like, what are you doing here? Uh, yes. Like, even are... if you walk around the back of a merchant's shop, they're like, hey, get back from out there. That's true. That's uh, which true. is great. Not, like, that's not enough. Not everyone. Uh, it, could be, it would be awesome if they did more with it. Like, right. <laughs> you know, like, somebody tried to start a fight, push you out of the way or something. It, it's the weird, like, duality for them, probably, of, like, not wanting to um, limit either, though. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, combat drain. Hit streak of charge, press. Aid of con instant drain. No, I don't want that. Oh, is that the. Oh, that's just the regular brand. Okay. Like if you were if you weren't able to go into anyone's house and do that, um, then you wouldn't ever go into houses unless you're playing a thief character, right. and then all the work of like building in those in-house assets and stuff would be lost. So it's kind of an interesting thing, I guess, the duality of game design. Like I want to show off all of this stuff, yeah, but I have to make it make sense. Uh, sometimes something's got to give. Um, what is Wraith Blast? Tap B. It makes your, your, your Wraith stun hit multiple targets. I guess. All right. It's pretty darn good. Yeah, that sounds good. I haven't checked my runes in a while, but I'll do that between episodes. Yeah. Which actually... Uh, 20 seconds, Nick. What's the most interesting thing that's ever happened in your life? Um, there was this one time that I went to space and I, um, it developed a small community of primates with the powers of, uh... 
Uh, Abraham Lincoln? Oh, that's and time for instant replay live to be over. <laughs> Not quite. Well, now it is, yeah. Um, but uh, I thought you were going to go for the Planet of the Apes plot from uh, the reboot with Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> what was the plot of that? That was different? Uh, uh, Mark Wahlberg was an astronaut who had apes in space, and they were you know, experimenting on them or whatever. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You watched that's, that, right? That's what I was doing. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, next time on Instant Replay Live, <laughs> see you on the videos. No, stop it. <laughs> You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.